Good morning, Chargers. Today is March 8th, 2016, and I'm Ashley Oaks. And I'm Sarah Asmussen. Today on DP News. Grease Pole. Triathlon. Community Service. Sit back and relax, Chargers. It's only Tuesday, but DP News starts now. <laughs> Seniors, you know that competition that we do where we dress up and climb up a greased up pole? Well, now is your chance to be a part of the tradition. Grease Pole 2016 signups are underway. To sign up, please go to tinyurl.com slash dpgrease16. Teams of three are required to enter and mandatory meeting for each team will be held on Monday, March 14th in P2. At least one of three members of the team must attend this meeting. The Grease Pole will be at lunch in the Greek on Friday, March 18th. Seniors, you must be present for all of your classes and all of lunch to participate. If you have questions, see Scott Gutentag at lunch in P2. Now here's a message from our ASB President Nathan Alvarez and Nutrition Commissioner Alex Mania. Hey DP, Nathan Alvarez here with some quick updated lunch options. Now we're going to have four carts around campus, each serving a different type of food at lunchtime. Right here is the Italian cart right by the library. You can get some great Italian food serving. We will be serving individual pizzas and Italian subs. Come get it here at lunch every day. BDP, this is our uh, cart right here for lunch and this is the American cart and we are serving sack lunches and double cheeseburgers. Right here, cart number two, American. What's up guys, this is cart number three, the Asian food cart in the H-Wing. We will be serving teriyaki chicken boxes here at lunch. Hey DP, this is our fourth cart by the Tea Week, and this is a Mexican cart, and we will be serving. We'll have an assortment of different Mexican food, burritos, tortas, come check it out, see what we got on that day. Looking for community service hours? Be a part of the 2016 Santa Barbara Triathlon Volunteer Team for the weekend of August 28th and 26th. To find out more about this amazing opportunity, go to www.santabarbaratriathlon.com slash volunteer. Are you interested in any field of design? If so, please submit a project to the Architectural Design Competition by tonight. For more info, visit the High School Design Competition tab at www.afsb.org. Hola! Bonjour! Here are some more electives to consider for next semester. So what the French program is about is, uh, I would say, as much culture as it is the language. And by culture, I mean the culture of the whole Francophone world and not just the historical, traditional aspect, but also learning about current events and, uh, for example, advances in technologies in the Francophone world. For example, recently we talked a lot about the COP21, the Global Climate Change Summit that took place in Paris, so a lot of things like that. My favorite part of the French program has been being in the APIB combined class, where we have a small group of students that spends all the time speaking in French, watching movies, reading articles, and learning about the French and Francophone world. It's a lot of fun because we not only talk about current events, we also talk about the history, we talk about changes that are ongoing in the francophone world including new technological developments and I think that that's something that you not only get in AP and IB when you're in your fourth year but you also get to experience it in earlier classes through Madame Lett's cultural segments through the things that she tells you and through the conversational aspects that you have. Eh, esta clase me gusta muchísimo porque el señor Gómez eh, muchas veces canta y la, las canciones me gustan mucho y creo que son muy útiles para eh, aprender nuevas palabras. I really love reading and next year I want to take AP Spanish literature because the 
tradition of Spanish literature is really rich, especially because so many countries have Spanish literature, and we live next to Mexico, and we can look at their literature. And I just love being an AP Spanish because I love talking in Spanish because you get to practice not only talking in another language but another culture. This Thursday at lunch in the quad by Mr. Gleason's Garden, DP is participating in the District Wellness Day event. There will be several booths and activities for students with, with prizes and chances to win. This activity is hosted by the Good Food Club along with Campus Food Services. If you have any questions about the event, contact Ms. Scafidi at mscafidi at spunified.org. The Partners in Education Internship Program is waiting on your application. If you are at least 16 years older and have plenty of free time, then this is the program for you. Students gain 80 hours of paid experience from a local business or a nonprofit in the community. The application is due by Thursday, March 10th at 5 p.m. To find out more about this amazing opportunity, swing by the Partners in Education office or as always, visit the Career Center. Are you looking for college credit and a chance to improve your writing skills? If so, take advantage of your opportunity to enroll in the English 110-111 at SBCC dual enrollment course taught on our campus next year. This course is, is an option for students entering their junior or senior year. Students must take the SBCC English assessment in order to have the option. The assessment will take place in our very own cafeteria on Friday, March 11th at 8 a.m. Students can sign up in the counseling office with Mr. Sofro before school, at lunch, or after school. Be prepared with your Santa Barbara City College student ID or your K number in order to sign up for the assessment. If you cannot take it on March 11th, then you can go to SBCC and take the test in their assessment office and bring the, the results to your counselor. Check the SBCC website for the Assessment Center hours. If you have any questions, please contact your counselor directly. The UCSB Society for Advancement of Hispanic, Chicano, and Native Americans in Science is an organization that promotes both minorities and diversity in the STEM fields. They're hosting their 11th annual SACNSA outreach program at UCSB this Thursday, April 21st and Friday, April 22nd, 2016. This program is dedicated to high school students of all grades and everyone is encouraged to apply. Students must fill out an application at the Career Center and must be submitted by March 19th, 2016. For more information, please visit the Career Center. The Abbey Road Summer Student Program visit will be on March 16th from 12.54 to 1.24. That's during lunch inside the Career Center. That's all the campus news we have for you today, DP. Now over to Peter with your sports. What's up, Chargers? I'm Peter Apple, and this is your sports report. We have a bunch of games today, so be sure to come out and support our Chargers this afternoon. Last Friday, the lacrosse team lost a tough one, 14-6 against Simi Valley High School. Dylan Van Meegum, Luis Nava, and the guys have a game today against Hart High School at home at 6. Varsity Boys Volleyball is off to a rough start, going 0-2 in their first two games, but I know Eli Wopat and the boys aren't going to let that trend continue. They play Oxnard at home today at 6. Our tennis team is off to a great start as they are 2-1 on the season so far and they play Newbury Park at home at 3 up on the tennis courts. That's all for your sports report today, DP. Now over to Jeffrey Chow with another Chow Challenge. And they're part of Division One CIF Girls Water Polo. And accompanying me here today is Justin Moore, my twin, Team Doppelganger. What will we get if Team Doppelganger uh, scored one point on you guys? Any blenders you want. Any blenders. A lifetime supply of blenders. How do you feel about that, Moa? Let's, let's go.
Hey DP, I'm Nandy Nibriganza, your current events reporter. The vaping industry is going, growing quickly. The use of e-cigarettes by middle and high school students nearly tripled from 2013 to 2014, and public health regulations struggle to keep up. Last summer, Santa Barbara County joined many jurisdictions throughout California to cut out vaping in no smoking locations. Vaping is not classified as smoking. However, the current ban on smoking of tobacco products on passenger flights includes the use of electronic cigarettes, federal officials add. However, opponents to vaping say the laws need to be tighter and that the legal age to purchase a vaping product should be raised to 21 from 18. In contrast, proponents say that the age restriction should remain the same as 18 is the age to enlist in the military. Thank you for listening. Nandini Braganza is signing out.